it's important to know the parameters of your school. In other words, what is your school, school population like? Um, and uh, so if you click on this first link here, school, what I've done here is I've prepared a page here with uh, both spreadsheets about local schools here in Los Angeles and Ventura County, as well as a lot of other resources. So you could look at some of this to, to gather information about the school that you're interested in. Um, if you scroll down here, I've created a map. If you click on the little uh, view larger map, it'll in, uh, increase in size and so you can see all of the middle schools and high schools on this map that I've drawn in. So again, this is Los Angeles and Ventura County. So if I'm interested in high schools, I can turn off the middle schools and now I'm seeing just the high schools. And then of course, just like any mapping resource, you can, you can zoom in. So what I did is I simply took the GPS coordinates of the schools and um, then had them plot on the map. And so uh, here we are at Cal State Northridge. So this is gonna be Northridge Academy High School, which is right here on the campus of Cal State Northridge. Here's Granada Hills Charter High School, just up the street on Zelza. And uh, over here would be like Kennedy High School, which is um, in Granada Hills and uh, then uh, James Monroe High School. So you can you can select either middle school or high school of your interest. Uh, if I mentioned middle schools, just turn that on and turn off the high schools and then you can um, browse these as well. The idea being is that you want to pick a particular school, uh, perhaps it's the one your student teaching at, and you're going to want to get a kind of develop a, an understanding of what that school is like. So you're developing a profile of the school. In other words, what is its, what are its uh, distinctives? Uh, what is the, you know, what is the community like in which it's located? Uh, what's the socioeconomic status of the students? And what's the school performance? And so this one is going to be more of a, a text and graphics. You can have um, information about the school that you've chosen. So you'll select a school and then you're going to um, create basically a summary of what do you know about that school. Now, when you're doing your ed TPA or any other kind of assessment, they're going to ask you, you know, what do you know about the school? This is uh, helps prepare you for that so that you would know about the school and uh, therefore be better able to to talk to administrators or parents or students because you know some of the parameters about the school. So this part here, the school distinctives, you're going to get primarily first from the uh, school website. So each school has a website. I'm sure you can find that. And so you can find out what its history is, distinctives, goals, just summarize that in a paragraph or so. Uh, but then also look at the community in which it's located. So let me just uh, um, click right here on the on using satellite photos and so forth. And here we're looking at a map. Um, you can see Cal State Northridge right here in the middle. I want to look at a couple high schools, at least that I'm very familiar with. Um, the first one, is going to be Granada Hills Charter High School. Okay, so Granada Hills Charter High School is uh, the school where my son teaches. Um, he teaches uh, AP Physics and Environmental Science there. Uh, I'm going to compare that um, with uh, my local uh, high school, which is going to be John F. Kennedy High School, which is in Granada Hills. And then just down the street, also in this general you know, West Valley area, James Monroe High School, which is just uh, west of the 405 freeway. I'm familiar with this because it's right across the street uh, from my church, from Valley Presbyterian Church. And so I've um, had a lot of interaction and so forth with the high school there. Um, and so I'm going to just kind of show how this, this data can show very different stories about the student populations and, and then how we may have to um, uh, use that information to try to to develop the best curriculum, the best resources, and so forth to meet the needs of our students. So let's say we're going to look here at um, satellite photo, and I'll choose um, James Monroe High School here first. We're going to zoom in on Monroe High School. So this is the 405 freeway going north and south here. And uh, there's my Church Valley Presbyterian. And right across the street, this is James Monroe High School. So this is the high school here. If you look at the community, uh, you're going to say, wow, this is an affluent community. You just look at the pools. I mean, you look around, the <laughs> one feature you, you notice right around Monroe High School is the pools. And yet, when you look at the test scores, uh, it's not what you'd normally expect. You find the test scores are actually pretty low. Um, but you have to know where the population of that school is coming from. So if you can find out, you know, where the map is of the, the, of the, the clientele, that's going to help you. In the case of Monroe High School, 
Uh, most of the population is coming from areas like this, which is just on the other side of the 405 freeway. These are apartment complexes. And you may notice just right off, you know, so if I take a picture of this, it tells me something about that community that, wow, okay, um, there's not a lot of green, probably not a lot of space for students to work because they're mostly in apartments. Um, so again, very different than just the other side of the freeway. And if the majority of the students come from communities like this, that may affect um, just their ability to, you know, uh, to learn simply just because you have more people in a room and you don't have the privacy and so forth you need when you're studying, et cetera. Again, understanding that's important, particularly if you're in an online environment too, where they're trying to Zoom or other kind of telecommute to class. So um, you want to use satellite photos and maps to try to understand the community, try to see if there's, you know, uh, you know, uh, what really characterizes the community that the school's in, but also the, the, the uh, uh, more importantly, the community from which the students come. Um, one of the things that's been a big predictor in terms of uh, student performance is the socioeconomic status. So, uh, you know, information about the, the, the population that attends the school. Um, so you might think that uh, your school is doing great, but it may, it may be simply because they're, they're coming from very educated families and the parents have done a lot of preparatory work for you. And uh, so your job is a little bit easier. Um, and so you can look at like, you know, parents level of education and other type of indicators here when you're developing this uh, scenario for knowing your school. If you click on city data here, uh, I've linked to this great website here, which will tell you something about uh, um, the location. So let's say I wanted to um, look here at Northridge, okay? Well, Northridge is obviously where our campus is, so I'll look at, uh, oops, let's just put in there 91330, which is our zip code. And um, so this is going to give you the all of the information pertaining to this area. Now, uh, unfortunately, um, Northridge is probably not the best one because it takes into account the campus. And so maybe I will try a different one, like 91344, which is Granada Hills. So here we are looking at Granada Hills, and this will give us, since it's not, you know, affected by the university and so forth, um, it... Uh, um, will give us kind of a more of an idea of this particular community. So find the community your school's in and then try to find some information about it that might help you understand that community. Now you can do screen captures of, of anything you think is relevant. Just make sure it's relevant and it ties together. So here you have age profiles, the number of, you know, residents in each age, you know, based upon, you know, um, kind of age and sex and so forth there. As you scroll down here, you're going to find out, um, again, information that uh, may or may not be useful. You'll see like the, uh, the ethnic composition. And then um, sometimes these uh, windows may take a long time to load. And right now this one's taking a long time to load, but it'll actually map um, some of the resources uh, that are relevant in that particular zip code or that particular region. So, um, so right here, uh, here we have, you know, the averages for 2012 tax year for zip code. Well, um, so since this stuff is public record, um, you can see here where the adjusted rate income is here and then what it is in the state. So you can see in 91344, which would be the region of Granada Hills. Actually, the it's a little bit below the, um, um, the state um, adjusted gross income. This would be like for a whole household. Um, and, uh, but, uh, you can see that the salary wage is a little bit higher. And, and again, try to understand what this means is going to be one of the tasks you have. So does this stuff matter? Well, it really matters only if you can compare it to another school, like compare Monroe high school with Granada Hills charter high school with Kennedy high school. So as you, as you compare maybe your school with another school in the area, it's going to, uh, start to paint a picture. So as we scroll through here again, you're going to see other information that's going to be useful when the houses were built, um, et cetera, et cetera. So some of this is not going to be useful information and others is going to be quite useful. Um, like for example, owner occupied houses, what a percentage of people live in their own homes. Well, that's going to make a, you know, a, probably tell you something about the community you're in. 
So there again, there's incredible number of resources here. I'm leaving it up to you to try to figure out which ones are meaningful to try to paint a picture of your student population. So that's going to be um, under socioeconomic status. Finally, you're going to look at uh, school performance. And um, there's two different links I've provided you with right here. The first one is just the test scores link, which goes to DataQuest. So DataQuest is, uh, comes from the, the California Department of Education. And it looks at all of the summary data that we have on the school. So um, let's say I wanted to look at a particular resource. Um, I could uh, say I'd like to look at maybe the California school dashboard, all right? And I'll look at that for, let's say, a particular school. So I'll search for that. And this is going to be now looking for a school. So let's say I put in there Granada Hills Charter High School. So we look at this and, uh, um, well, I don't know why it's not coming up, but let's put there Granada, Hills Charter High School, and um, or just say near Granada Hills and see if we can um, find it there. So I'll see some near Granada Hills and there it is. It, apparently they didn't have the school. So this would be the, the dashboard um, for that particular school. So you can see that the graduation rate uh, for Granada Hills Charter is very high. Uh, again, if you click on that and then say more details, it'll tell you the details by um, areas. So this is going to um, be by various different student groups. Um, and we can see that uh, um, it kind of groups them in various different categories. And again, you kind of need to you know, look at this to, to understand what's being said. And like, for example, students with disabilities, you're seeing that... Uh, it's doing pretty good for that particular group. So socioeconomic is doing pretty good. And so across the board, they tend to be doing a pretty good job um, with uh, um, various different subpopulations at the particular school. And again, you can do screen capture of this, put it into your, your, your document, and uh, um, that'll help develop this story that you're trying to tell about your school. So... Uh, the other one here is the CASP. Okay, this is also can be accessed through that other link. Um, again, you can choose, you know, to you know what kind of information you want to get. But let's say you're interested to hear, like, let's say in the science scores. So your science teaching, you know, want to know what the California science test, the CAST results are for the school. So you can click on this, and then here's like for the state of California. So we can see for the state of California that if we look at all schools, all grades, that uh, we have only 20% are meeting the standards. So uh, that means that, well, I'm sorry, yeah, tw well, uh, I'm sorry, 29 met or exceeded the standards. So about a third of the population is either met or exceeded the standards. So blue is good, all right, uh, green is adequate. And then as you go to the light green and around the, to here, you're saying this is not so good. So we can look for a particular school. Let's say I went there to Kennedy High School. Now Kennedy High School there is going to be um, uh, again in, in Granada Hills. So that I would uh, um, we're going to. Oops, looks like I hit the wrong link. Well, I, I'm sure you can figure that out. So um, let's say I put in there Monroe and see if we can pull up Monroe High School again. Um, and then. Um, Here's James Monroe High School. I'm going to view the test results. And so these would be the test results for Monroe High School. So you could compare the state data versus the, the school that you've selected. So you can see here that actually for Monroe High School um, is only, you know, just a little over you know, one and a half percent of the population has actually exceeded the standards, just 10.6 metum. So it's, it's not doing too good. But then that, you need to look at that and say, well, why is that? You know, what percentage are English learners, et cetera? So I'd like you to, to get into this, really start to do some investigation, uh, screen capture pictures, do comparisons, if you will, to tell other, high, uh, other schools, and try to tell the story of the school of your choice and compare it to some other school, maybe that, or to the state standards, in other words, the state, I should say, um, so that uh, you have a better idea of the school of interest.